the day today. Coming into the day, I mentioned that the market was uh, away from the 60-minute moving average uh, more than um, uh, it typically is, so the odds were high that the market would pull back to the moving average. And for the past several days, even though the market has been going up, the market has had a lot of uh, two-sided trading. The bears have been able to demonstrate a lot of strength um, over the past um, several days. So um, if the market is up, there's a pretty good chance it's going to come down. Um, reasonably sized uh, gap. Uh, the bigger the gap, the more likely the trend, and the more likely the trend is in the direction of the gap. Uh, big gap up, you think trend up, but because of the 60-minute chart and because of all the two-sided trading over the past um, several days, I think it's unlikely that the market could go up very far without correcting. So um, I personally was looking for a short. What about buying above the outside up bull bar, close on its high? Um, if you were to buy that, I would buy it only for a scalp because I don't think the market can go up very far. Um, the market's been selling off uh, every rally for the past few days and it's uh, at the top of a channel on a 60-minute uh, spike in channel that's been going on for a few weeks. So um, I wouldn't be looking for swings up when the market is already up. Um, shorting below that low I think is good for at least a scalp. Uh, the market might come down to the moving average, might come down, close the gap, might come down, test yesterday's close. Decent entry bar, more follow through. Um, micro uh, wedge look to this, so the bulls are buying in here. And um, th that's a problem for the bears. You know, this is not collapsing the way the bears would like it to collapse. Um, it's uh, finding buyers. As soon as the market gets below that low, buyers. As soon as it gets below this low, buyers. Um, so there are definitely traders willing to buy. Okay, well now we're coming into a report, and um, because of the micro wedge behavior and the spike and the channel, uh, I don't want to be shorting at this point, but this is a, enough of a bear channel so that um, I also don't want to be buying. So that means I have to wait until after the report. The report uh, raced up and formed a double top um, and came down, and I think it's okay to short below that low. This is a significant bar. It's an unusually large bar, so it probably will uh, lead to a measured move up or down. Since the market broke to its downside, the odds favor a measured move down. Um, that's not always the case. You know, we had that uh, bar the other day. Is that it over here? I think that might have been it. Yeah, where it could have led to a measured move down or up, and it broke out of the downside, but then went around and uh, broke out of the upside and led to a measured move up. Anyway, decent looking um, breakout bar. Could be a spike down leading to a, a channel. Uh, any breakout is a climax. Um, a breakout, climax, spike, they're all the same thing. A couple bull bars, so a little double bottom here at the moving average. I think the market is going to uh, go down more. I think always in is short. Um, I don't know where the stop is. I don't know if, if they would reverse along somewhere up here. Anyway, this is okay for a scalp, but I wouldn't be looking for a swing because I think the day is going to go down. Uh, more overlapping bars, more tails. Uh, is this two legs up? The market went up and then down on this bar and then up again. So that is two legs up uh, and a decent looking bear bar. But to me, the market might be forming uh, a trading range in here. This was trading range type behavior. So was this up and down, that is also. Okay, a test to the bottom of the range, possible double bottom, possible double bottom, but that's not a good looking bull bar after three good bear bars with no tails. So I wouldn't buy that. I think the market ultimately is going to go down to a measured move. So I think you can swing down and you look, can look to scalp more along the way. You can look for a rally. The market might come up and test the breakout below here. Uh, if it does, I think it's a very good risk reward short. Market's going sideways in here bear bar. This is tricky. You know, it's basically uh, sideways at the bottom of a trading range. The market is probably going to come down here, probably 70% certain, but it may uh, just go down a tick or two and reverse up and form a double top. So I think this is a decent swing, but not a good scalp. Okay, more micro uh, uh, wedge behavior, buying below the low of every bar. 
Okay, now a bar that's closing on its low, so it's a breakout after the market has already gone down. Here's a spike, here's a channel, here's the measured move from that bar. I think it's a good uh, risk reward trade to uh, go long on the test of this uh, bar. You know, I'll place a limit order maybe a tick above it, maybe two ticks above it, buy that close. I think that's risky. I think it's better to wait for the price action reversal. This is almost certainly going to be the high of the day after the double top and the large bar. This could be the low of the day, or at least the low of the next several hours. Um, so I think it's an okay swing long. There's a spike. There's a channel. It came down to a measured move. Uh, it's a sell climax, so the market should have uh, two legs uh, sideways to up. It may um, break out and pull back. Uh, you can either buy this or you can wait for the breakout pullback. Test of the moving average, um, the market should have two legs up, so I wouldn't short the moving average since uh, it's likely the market is going to go higher at some point in the next few bars. Okay, uh, you got trapped bears, you got a double top. Um, what about buying uh, right above here? What about buying above here? Uh, I think any of it's okay. I think always in is long, so no matter what the market does, it's uh, almost certainly going to be higher in the next few bars. This to me, I like this kind of a setup because I'm confident that the market is going up and here it is forming a low two, a little gap bar. I believe will more likely trap bears. So rather than shorting that, I think always in as long, I think there's more up. Um, I think the market should have two legs up after the reversal. By the way, I mentioned that at this point the market should go above this low probably will go above this high, might test all the way up here. Um, so to me, it hit target number one. By going above this low, that tells me that the bears are not as strong as they should be in a strong bear day. So that means uh, that increases the chances that there's going to be more up. Uh, and at this point, I think the odds are probably, originally I thought 60 or 70 percent that it would hit this or go above it. And maybe 60 percent this, 50 percent this. Once this is hit, I've increased, um, I think the odds are higher that it's going to get this. So instead of 60%, this, this might be 65%. In any case, I'm hoping that this triggers the low two short uh, because I will expect the low two short to fail and I will uh, buy the failed low two. There's the failed low two and the breakout. Possible double top, possible test of the channel. That might be all that the market gives. Pick up my second target, a little spike here or you can view the whole thing as a spike, you can view this as a spike, this is a spike, and then kind of a parabolic channel. Not a good uh, signal bar for shorts, but trading range day, you know, all breakouts are probably going to fail. The market should have two legs up after such a big uh, climactic move. I think this is a channel, so it's one leg. I wouldn't say this is the first and that's the second leg. I think it's one leg that's subdividing. Um, selling below a bear bar is better than selling below a doji. There's a high two, um, but didn't touch the moving average, and it's a small bar. I think there's probably more down. I don't know if the market is just going to come down and form a wedge bull flag. I don't know if it's going to come down and test the bottom of the channel. I do think that since it's a trading range day, it's going to drop lower than what people think. I think it'll probably test yesterday's close again, maybe test below here maybe test below here. So I wouldn't be eager to buy at this point. What about shorting the failed uh, high two? Uh, here's one leg down, second leg down, so that's a high two. I think it's a little risky. Uh, another breakout now to the downside. Good close, probably more down. I think it should go below here, probably will go below here. Might come uh, test here within maybe a tick or two uh, of this high. More wedge bear flag. You know, a lot of overlap, you know, a little bit lower and tail, a little bit lower and a tail. I'm not going to buy this. Um, you can argue it's a wedge bull flag, one, two, three pushes down. Uh, the breakout is too big for me to be buying above a doji bar. I think there's probably going to be more down. 